Okay, this is how to clean and repair your standard Briggs and Stratton carburetor. First thing you want to do is take the air filter box off. It's easier to do it without the air filter cover on and the air filter. This is nothing actually got to it, so it's all right. You're better off using a socket wrench on these rather than a spanner because you can't get a spanner in the uh, spanner in there. So, what? Let's say 11. I guess. You don't really need a lot of torque on these. And then, not really, they're not really tight. Once you've got them loose, you don't need this um, actual ratchet anymore. You can undo it just with this bar, and if they're really dirty, make sure you've got something to put all of your bits in. I use the air filter box. Right, there we go, that's off. There is a you want to make sure you've got your PCB tube to take that off as well. Just push it from the other side and it'll pop right out. But that is meant to be bolted on, but on this one, I lost the bolt, so... Until I can get a new one, it's not the same bolt bottom anymore. You've got your choke here. And throttle. Every now and again it's a good idea to adjust your idle screw. Otherwise, oh, when you put it down to idle, it can stall, or... Sometimes it won't have a very low idle. Make sure your fuel is turned off. And then, disconnect your fuel line. It's sometimes a good idea to get a, get a pair of scissors, hit it right on the, right on the join here, and just give it a little bit of a wiggle. If you can get it in that gap, you can about pry it off. Once you get off that little bit, it'll come off. Anyway. Try and lift up your fuel line up to a reasonable height, like that. So it won't uh, leak all fuel everywhere. Well, I can't stand it. One is fussing to kneel. Here you have a little dump. Right. When done that, you've got to get these off. An 8 mil. Hmm. Unless you've threaded them. Should be interesting. If not, you've got a situation like that. Use a pair of vice grips. If you can find them, which I can't really put them on. There we go. Is that these are. Uh, Really, really fucking cheap. Rice grips. Alright. See what I mean? These are naff. Hmm. No, fuck it. Why am I? I can do this one now. No. I think I took these up pretty well. Last time I had this car boss. And car bolt. Fucking hell. 
So this one's hot. Um, I like mailbox back, I know. And just. If you ever buy a new socket there, it's a good idea to keep your old one around just for Oh, for sake. You don't want to see this. Not too dirty. Oh, it's got little floaty bits in. If you're wondering that petrol looks shitty, it's not actually shitty. It's Unleaded it Ultra. It's meant to be that colour. Check your um, float mechanism. I'm not going to fiddle with all the little screws and that because you've got one here, one here, one here. I think one is high, one's low. Um, one's idle. I don't know. Hey, you got it. Uh, if you ever get a situation like this, it's best to always replace them. Let a little bit of the fuel drip out. Take your linkages off. Always be very careful. Okay. One carb disconnected. Got yeah. So well, which some of these are actually spring loaded, so they'll always go back to idle, and then you can open it up and it'll spring back. So be like that. Otherwise, this one you can just pull it open and it'll start open. Oh yeah, you got mm. Inject manifold. Uh, push for chamber. PCV tube. And in here there is actually a PCV valve. And this one has got stuck before. This one um, when I was overriding the speed governor, this little leave it down here. I was overriding that one time and this valve was stuck squared up all through the tube. Through. It went up here. Some of it went into the engine, and the rest of it went out through this hole, which is perched kind of right above the exhaust here. And I thought the engine was a goner, but still running. I had to run it for a little while. It's just a blow up, you know, it burnt all the oil off, and it stopped smoking and making fuck off horrible smells. I will one day show you how to get a plywood off, but I need an air chisel because I can't get this one off at the moment. I've been whacking it with a hammer trying to get it off. Not the best idea I know. So, alright. 